Hello everyone, Lawrence here. I just got back from Velo Folie, which is the biggest bike show in Belgium. It's in Kortrijk Expo um, this weekend. The team this year was e-bikes, e-bikes, and guess what? More e-bikes. They were absolutely everywhere. Luckily, we also got to see a bunch of SRAM GX derailers and massive tires and also some really good looking Shimano shoes. But anyway, here are my top 10 mountain bikes from Velo Folly in Belgium 2018 edition. Let's start with the beautiful, absolutely beautiful Hope HB160 Enduro mountain bike. And then there were also some more um, bespoke options. So this is a handmade carbon fiber bicycle Pinion 12-speed gearbox, obviously, you need those. This is actually a beach racing mountain bike, so it comes with these Swalbe G1 um, near slick tires, but rather big ones, because that was obviously a theme as well. Gorgeous paint job, absolutely beautiful bike, this one. There was also the Tirichi. I don't quite know how to pronounce it, but I hope that I can get my bum on one of these bikes very soon. Again, beautiful custom carbon fiber bicycles with big SRAM GX cassettes. Look at this top tube, guys. It's half the width of my index finger, so this is super skinny for a top tube. And apparently that really helps with the ride quality. It's also a bike that I just really look forward to testing. This is like a proper um, Italian hardtail designed for mountain biking, obviously and it just looks really good with that very slim top tube. There were actually quite a few Pinion Gearbox bicycles. This one is by Pilot Cycles and also I hope that I can really test one of these very soon. You get that awesome gearbox in there so no maintenance whatsoever massive tires on really wide rims this is something in between a plus bike and a fat bike uh, i didn't really remember how wide these tires are but they look super comfortable to ride on and the cool thing with these pilot cycles is they're all made out of titanium they only do titanium bicycles so the ride quality should be something really different and yeah i'm just really looking forward to testing this because it just it was one of the best looking bikes in my humble opinion. The kit on there looks really cool. I love myself really wide tires on a hardtail. So hopefully I can test this one. Of course, I can't do this video without the brand new Canyon Spectral, which is probably even better than the previous Canyon Spectral, which I absolutely loved. The new shock linkage looks way better in real life than it does in pictures and probably in this video as well. And it's similar to the new Canyon Torque which was kind of a show stealer at the Canyon booth. Beautiful bike, again, looks way better in real life than in pictures, and it already looks really good in pictures. So it's not a bike that I can personally use because I think it's too much bike for my skills and Belgium, which is super flat, um, but it's a really nice looking bicycle. Talking about nice looking bicycles, this is another custom bicycle, custom paint job. Uh, this Ross bike is like something in between a gravel bike and a mountain bike with the Lauf um, leaf spring suspension. But it looked really awesome. It was like a showstopper. I walked by this booth and I just stopped and took pictures of it. It was that gorgeous. So really nice job, guys. And then something that's actually affordable. This is the Trek Roscoe 8. Again, wide plus size tires on a hardtail. Get a dropper post. It's an aluminium bike. You get a wide range uh, SRAM NX cassette, not GX on this one. Really nice looking clean cockpit. Um, and as I said, really nice wide tires for optimal comfort on a hardtail. What is perhaps the best thing about this bike is the price tag of only 1100 euros. So this is just a bargain. You can actually get nine of those Trek Roscoe 8s for the price of just one Mondraker Foxy. This is actually a 10,000 euro bicycle. I mean, you can't really blame it for anything it looks absolutely stunning but it's really really expensive and to finish off uh, sun bicycles now i haven't ever ridden a sun bike before but it just had this very interesting linkage at the rear and some really flashy colors and that alone is why it's in this top 10 uh, of bikes that i really liked anyway i'm now going to leave you with some more pictures that i'll be cross posting on instagram as well but do the whole like subscribe and comment thing in the description below Thanks for watching this one, guys.